Hey, hi, hello. Good evening. I hope uh, your week has been uh, swell, because mine certainly has. I uh, had a break at the start of the week, so a pretty short work week. And uh, we were, I didn't, I think it's, it's been a bit of a wind down phase in my place, so just wrapping up projects, uh, waiting for our new assignments to come in, or just kind of fill the space in between with uh, things. Oh, anyways. Uh, yeah, you might be wondering, hey, longest five minutes, didn't, didn't we beat that last week? Didn't we, like, see an ending? Well, what if I told you? What if I told you there was, like, a better ending? An ending where uh, no one has to die, right? We don't have to actually slay Fuzz, right? We can we can let him live! So that's, that's why I'm starting with this. Yeah, we're gonna just jump in here. I don't think this is going to take very long, but I just want to... I just want to get in there for for posterity's sake, you know, just to, just to have that complete playthrough. To say, yeah, I saw the tale from beginning to end, and I saw it off in a proper manner. So let's get in here. We're gonna load. Uh, let's see. Um, which one? Get which slot? Uh, I think to kill the demon king is the decision point, right? If it's not this one, then we can just go back and uh, load the other stuff. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, who remember this? Remember how I selected Kill the Demon King? And I kind of concluded the battle at 444 and sort of just ended? Here's, uh, here's, the, here's the divergent path. This is where things change. What if we, what if we don't kill the Demon King? What if we acted like a true hero? Go, yes, we will save everyone, including the final boss. I think for the sake of this stream, um, we're gonna we're gonna have that flashback uh, that we had earlier. That, that we had the same. It's this is like the same flashback from uh, the other longest five minute stream. But I think maybe we should just play this again. Sort of sort of a recap, right? This is like previously on the longest five minutes, right? It's a signature move. Flash Break, RPG Level 2. Having good swordsmanship is important, but a hero needs a signature move. You have to have a strong technique that can really punish the bad guys. Signature move, huh? You're amazing, Fuzz. What technique do you think is the best, Haru? Huh? The best technique? I think... Well, I don't know anything about that, so my opinion isn't worth much. That's not true. Tell me, honestly. Uh, okay, then... I was thinking that no matter how strong the attack is, it's no good if you can't use it. If it takes too long for you to use it, then you'll never end up doing it in battle. Yes, because the faster characters will always interrupt you and the uh, animation cancel you out. So, I think the fast techniques are the best. Mm, so Haru likes to rush down. Playing a lot of Street Fighter. King of Fighters. <laughs> See... Good point. See, you're smart, Haru. That's good advice. Thanks. Was I helpful? I really hope so. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, let's practice. Bring it, Flash. There we go. This is where we see the... Oh, okay, no. Just see the sprites ram into each other like they're in half-minute hero. Man, they say to cut it swiftly, but how do you do that? This is hard. Hmm? What, Flash? Oh, there we go. It's the, the Zelda thrust. Oh man, it's playing Link's Awakening. Yeah, just jam that sword button like your life depends on it, because it probably does. Flash, I like that. Like this? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, they gave me sprites, sprites too for that. Cool. This is good. An attack so fast your eyes can't follow it. And no openings for a counterattack. This is it for sure. Let's practice that and make it our signature move. Awesome, Flash. I knew you'd make a good rival. It's an original signature move that we made. Let's come up with a cool name. Let's see. A cool name. Um. Hmm? What's wrong, Haru? I have a suggestion for the name. Since both of you, since both of you and Flash came up with that signature move, combine Flash's first name and Fuzz's last name. Flash Break. What do you think? like, what a feeling. 
feelings believe or is it scenes believing? I forget how that song goes. The flash dance. I wish I remembered the lyrics to that. Flash break, huh? Yeah, that just might work. What do you think, Flash? Good, then it's decided. Hey, wait. Curse, curse me and my muteness. Really? Wow. I'm glad that you both like it. Yeah, but there is one thing bothering me. You said that both me and Flash invented. did. eh. You said that both me and Flash invented this technique, but you're wrong. All three of us did. Me, Flash, and Haru, all three of us helped with this move. Yeah, Haru kind of planted the suggestion, right? She's so like, alright, first, fast techniques, and uh, I, I think this is a good name. Here's your name. Right? All three of us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thanks, Fuzz. Flash. You don't need to thank us. I only stated the facts. Yep, there's Fuzz spitting facts out here. All right, Flash, let's practice our flash break. All right, back to thrusting. Yeah, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Just rapid stabs like you're playing Raphael and Soul Calibur. Good luck, you two. I'm not much help, but I'll pray for the both of you. <laughs> With my back turned, because I'm really shy. <laughs> I'll pray that this signature move will be able to defeat anyone. Snap back to reality. This, I remember this technique. Yeah, yeah, we saw that already. Whoa! I can't, I can't do it. Killing Fuzz. Flash, it's all right. Flash, I don't want you to suffer anymore. Haru, please! I'll take away the evil possessing fuzz. But that's all I'll be able to do. After that, I won't be able to stay here any longer. So that's why... No, Haru! You can't! Please! Don't! <laughs> I made you make that face again, huh? A moment of, uh, what we call it, tranquility before uh, things go pear-shaped. Huh? Flash, I'm sorry I made you worry so much. I'm gonna make you worry even more when I have to sacrifice my life. I gave it my all, but I guess I can't do everything. I'm useless. I'm not like the PS3 at all. That's not... you're not useless. Don't talk like that! Please, don't do this! I don't want you to die, either! Oh, oh look at that. 444. The, the other timeline, this is where the battle ended. Here! Oh, <laughs> we're still going. <laughs> Thank you. That makes me really happy. But I can't do that. Even for you. Why? There might be another way. Some way where you can both live. No. There's no time, Flash. We have to save Fuzz. No way, Jack! Stop it! So, I know it's sad to Sarah farewells, but I'm leaving the rest to you, Mr. Hero. Look at that, she got the cut in. <laughs> Haru! <laughs> of course, it has to be the one cut in where she uses the sacrificial move. Oh. <laughs> Of course, just to pound in the tragedy. Hey, here's a here's a flashback to calmer times where they probably made some sort of promise. Flash, I um, you want to be a hero, right? And being a hero means that you protect everyone when the world is in danger, right? Flash, you're amazing. I really respect that. And not only you. Everyone else, too. They actually have a dream and they follow through. I... can't do that. Whenever someone asks, what do you want to do with your life? I don't have an answer. You're a kid, though. It's okay if you don't have a path set for you. To be honest, I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, that's, um... Yeah, that's a little different. 
Oh, man. Everyone else can run fast, or is strong, or can use a sword, or knows magic. But I... I can't do any of that. Turns out Haru just actually has just a ton of latent spiritual power. I want to help out. I want to do something. All I can do is cause more trouble. It's frustrating. But I'll keep doing my best. I'm always so happy to see everyone smiling. So I want to help everyone do all the things that they want to do. Sometimes, uh... Your role is to be background, and oh, hey, another cut in. Fla uh, Fuzz going, arg, arg. <laughs> The righteous power Haru released surrounded Fuzz and sucked the fog right out of his body. Ow. Just, I'm sure you got a picture in your head of that. And get your mind out of the gutter. And Haru? She looked back at me with a soft smile and then fell slowly to the ground. Mmm. Just like that. Haru. Haru? Haru! Da 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 da. <laughs> now, I already used that gag in Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> this wasn't an illusion. There are no do overs. Can't change this anymore. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah! That one time, under the big tree in Norbiji, I was telling her we'd be together after all this. But I stopped myself. I wanted to save it for another time. I wanted to tell her how I felt after the battle. But... There won't ever be a next time. Hey. Haru? Back then, I wanted to tell you something. Once the world is at peace again, we should live together. You were always away from your friends and family, and you got real lonely, right? That's why I thought, well, I didn't want you to feel lonely anymore, so... Flash, thank you. I love you. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Me too. <laughs> this is like on the level of uh, was it Star Wars prequel trilogy. I love you. I know. <laughs> oh my god. Also, you're kind of crazy, right? Throughout the majority of the rest of the game, you think, oh, Fuzz is gonna hook up with Clover, right? But, nope. They introduce this other per- this, this other- I, Flash suddenly remembers his other girl who apparently he's he was actually he actually he's actually the one Flash actually likes. Feels out of left field, but man, it's kind of, it's funny how that works. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. He actually he actually said it. I love you. Okay, so you you're already better than Anakin. <laughs> I love you. 46. Got 14 seconds left. Ah! The fog that came out of Fuzz started to condense into a cloud. Oh man, cloud? Oh wow, um, geez. I don't think, uh, boy, you definitely seen better days, cloud. Ooh, oh boy. Huh, <laughs> moot of fog. Ooh, are you a ghost? Eight. I hate it all. No life has value. Destroy everything. Return it to nothingness. Destroy what you want to protect. Sink into ultimate despair. All right, Manakuma. What? That's what been, that's what's been causing all this? That's what possessed the goddess's sword and manipulated Fuzz? It's the heart of the demon king. Flash. Buzz, you're all right. <sighs> uh. Hey, don't push it. That thing was living inside you. You have to take it easy. I'm sorry. Where's Haru? Just don't look over in that direction. 
I see. It's all my fault. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. Mm, flash. Flash. Uh, wait. Did we, did we do this already? Because, you know, Fuzz, Fuzz is kind of, sort of, the blame in all this. Sure, he was manipulated by an external force, but still, or maybe if he had, you know, a bit more heroics and resolve, none of this would have happened. I think about it. This entire plot kind of, sort of, kicked off because some teenager just got real emo. Huh. Man. When we were fighting back there, your memories were inside my head. And I did not say, get out of my head, Charles. You just wanted to protect everybody. You just wanted to be strong enough and... Enough. Hm? Haru did it to save me. I became the Demon King. And she died saving me. How's that not my fault? <laughs> I mean, hey, no, no, he's got a point. Let him talk. Hmm. Caused so much trouble. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I only just caught, nearly caused the end of the world. You know, little, little, little crisis there, right? So, even though I know I have to fight him, my body won't move. Buzz. Flash, remember. What did Haru say in the end? I remember it. I heard it. Even though I was barely conscious. What Haru said to you. Her last words flash. Uh, I love you? What Haru said in her final moments? I'm leaving the rest to you, Mr. Hero. <sighs> but, I'm not... Flash! You can't do anything acting like that. You are a hero. And we need a hero till the end of the night. And he's got to be strong. And he's got to be fast. He's got to be willing to carry on this fight. I think those are the lyrics, right? I'm going to do it. Even if I can barely move, I'll claw my way to victory. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. You're kind of standing between oblivion. It's, it's, you're the only thing standing between uh, the world and oblivion. Yeah, if, if uh, you don't give it a shot, and it's all over. Might as well give it a shot, right? Buzz st stood up shakily and pointed his sword towards the fog. Now, let's go! I'm going to end this! Fuzz, stop! Are you trying to get yourself killed? Shut up! How can I call myself a hero if I can't protect you? I... I want to protect you as well! Oh, wait. Mm, I think I used the wrong voice for that previous line. Oops. Ah! Flash, what are you fighting for? Why did you train so hard? Why did you decide to become a hero? With everything that's happened, I want you to remember everything. Buzz! Buzz's plea shook me to my soul, which I thought Haru's death had broken. Why did I become a hero? Why? Flash. The day Souvenir was attacked, I was so upset that I couldn't protect any everyone. I was disgusted myself with myself for being powerless. I wanted pure strength. And to become stronger, you have to be prepared to make sacrifices. That's why I threw away my friends in hometown. I thought I needed to be alone to be stronger. But Flash, you're different. You, you have it inside. There you go, reel of all the memories. Look at that, all these greatest hits of their travels. You know, especially with the core crew. And the occasional guest star. Uh, everything that's happened. Got the Chloe, there's Haru again. Uh, let's see, I think they they had Yanagi and... um. Uh, yeah, there we go, Yanagi. Why do I keep forgetting Kogure, right? That's his name, the ninja? Yeah. Kinda, okay, it's a bit of a disjointed one. Yeah, it's a little out of order, but that's okay. Okay, there's Kogure. Eh. <laughs> I ran out of time. Yuzu spooked him. Got a head start. Kogure again. 
Man, it's a lot of memories. Yeah. Okay, we. I get. I get it. Um. All right. I think we're we're kind of leading up here. That should be it, right? Oh, wait. One more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This has to be the end, right? It ends with Haru. The canon love interest, apparently. One, one more last right I remember. I have countless memories. The only reason I can really be myself is because all the people I've ever met have given me something. It's not as if they gave me a present or anything. It's more like their influence made me who I am. Accumulating all of those memories together made me who I am. I was able to come this far because of everyone. Everyone. Made me stronger. <laughs> power friendship. Yeah. Always real superpower of teamwork. Everyone who believed in me, supported me, were there for me when I needed it. I will fight for you. That's why I became a hero. With an unbreakable spirit and the power of memories, Flash experienced a full recovery. Now that's what I call a hero. Now, let's go kick some ass. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, my ears, man. Oh. <laughs> that horde of demons. A huge number of demons spawned from the cloud of fog. Damn, there's more. Fuzz, don't push yourself. You're still recovering. Shut up. There's too many for you to handle by yourself. What? <laughs> too bad this isn't the, the uh, longest five minutes heroes. You probably could have taken them on hundreds of them, but then. <laughs> but. Whoa! Hey, look who's here. It's Yanagi and, um, Regent. Yeah, that's his name. Regent. Flash, sorry I'm late. Whoa! Is it that fuzz over there? Long time no see. Inagi, Regent! No need to fear, the cavalry has arrived! Ah! This is here, the, the big damn hero's moment. Your backup, your backup has arrived. I guess they freed themselves from the fog thorns or something. Who knows? My guess. You know what? How did they. <laughs> just have to assume. Yeah, let's, let's just keep going. I'll. I'll talk more later. Huh? And look, Yuzu and Kogre. Yeah, you're as quick as ever, Kogre. Not bad. Ah, come on now. Don't be modest. You defeated countless enemies with your secret technique. Well, yeah. I guess for now we'll call it a tie. Since when was this a competition? You're taking this rivalry thing a bit far. Are you renewing it now? Really? Of course, Clover and Chloe. The magic duo. Buzz, you're hurt bad. I'll take care of you. Don't move. I'll help too. Let's do it together. What? Everyone? Come on, Flash. Don't look so surprised. We're our allies, remember? We'll defeat these evil enemies together. Well, there you have it. Kogure, you're gonna help too. Y yeah, I know. I came this far. It's time to go all out. Flash, pick three of us and let's go defeat the Demon King once and for all. Please, Flash. You guys. Flash, take this. Flash received the Goddess's Sword from Fuzz. I hate to admit it, but I'd only be in your way. I put my feelings into this sword. Haru's feelings, too. Ew. So use this to slay the Demon King. Please. Buzz. Gah! Oh! Oh! The boat of fog swelled up massively and burst through the roof of the castle. Of course, you gotta have yourself a proper backdrop for a proper-ass bo uh, boss fight, huh? <laughs> Watch over me, Haru. It's the final showdown. <laughs> Yeah, it's the wrong, it's the wrong lyric, obviously. It's the final countdown. I just, it just reminds me of that. 
Give me that. Gotcha. Go. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Right at the five minute mark. <laughs> Not a moment to spare. Here we go. Assemble the party for one final showdown. <laughs> hmm. I think there's really only one swap I want to make. Just to swap out Chloe. Put in Chloe. Put out Regent. <laughs> I do. I do kind of like how you know. There's at least a. You can at least posit in, uh, reason in your head that the reason why you know you can't have all seven of them just beat up the final boss is because you know. A lot of the other demons means uh, you gotta have several of the f other folks kind of keep them at bay while the main party goes and beats up the final boss. Anyways, use you Chloe Clover. That's our. That's gonna be our lineup. Uh, we got ourselves physical attacker, magic attacker, and support slash magic attacker. Let's do it. True demon king appeared. Yeah, we're in it to win it. Um, okay. Uh, magic counter. Uh... See, so you can open with flash break. Magic, you will use, um... Spellbound Twinkling Punch. And you... Hmm. Man, I wish you had, like, some sort of all-down. But I guess, um... You can at least reduce your ma enemy's magic, and you will... increase everyone's stats. Yeah, even the music has got that final boss feel to it, right? This really gives you that feeling, yeah, this is... this is it. Damn it, Clover, why you gotta be so slow? Flash and Fuzz's swords glow with light. Oh, that's right, I I need to, what is it, where is it, where is it? The, uh, uh... Is it Fuzz's sword? Yeah, I guess, I think it is. Oh wait, here we go, yep. Just assume Flash stabs the true Demon King. <laughs> what? 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 I feel holy power. Hey, look! The sword! Oh, yeah. Got ourselves a proper cinematic. Sort of. Whoa! The two swords of the goddess shone brightly and combined into the sword that shaped the world. The sword is... returning the flash. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is this for real? It's a miracle. Wow. Flash, you... You are a true hero. Alright, maybe you should be more like, You are a true hero. Go! <laughs> Whoa! So they assume he just fires a beam. The power of the god scepter broke through the fog. Alright, let's finish this once and for all. Let's go! Now we're in it to win it. Um, yeah. You keep, uh, flash breaking. You keep spell punching them. As for you, mm. yeah, you can you can attack them. Let's see. We'll go with um. Difference between Dirty Crazy and Cry to the Moon. Oh, wait, no, Cry to the Moon was like the ultimate attack. An obscene amount of MP versus not an obscene amount of MP. I guess we could try one into the other and then see what happens. But for now, you gotta do a uh, Giga Healing Rain because everyone's about to croak here. Eight hundred eighteen. There we go. Right as rain, everyone comes back to full. 
Look at that. And Chloe also has Giga Healing Range, so if one of them falls, that's okay. Basically, this battle's only going to be lost if both Chloe and Clover eat it. And hopefully, RNG will see to it that doesn't happen. Alright, 869, Cry to the Moon, how much does that inflict? No, for a poison spell, there's a lot of electricity to it. 895, oh no, Phantom. Oh, no one is affected. Alright. Since uh, True Demon King only did one attack, I think this will be a free round for Clover. You can go ahead and uh, smack him with some magic. Alright, let's see how much Dirty Crazy does. For this, um... Mermaid Salvo. Oh, 513. Yeah, and pure MP to damage ratio, that's probably like a more efficient attack. Sure, it's less damage, but he'll put it, he'll, he'll be able to use it for longer. Alright. Anyways, this is, this is pretty much gonna be the loop. Attack, 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 heal up when necessary. And attack some more. Alright. I think Clover needs to use, uh... Healing Rain now, because everyone's kind of sort of in that area where if Demon King decides to pull off two big attacks, one of them could actually eat it. Man, seeing the effects of Dirty Crazy just feels a little out of place compared to, you know, the pixel art of, like, everything else. Uh, the dystopia. Thankfully, everyone's stat buffs is still up. Alright. Everyone, keep doing what you're doing. Should I do... Yeah, you know what? Clover has a lot of MP, and it's, uh, you know, it doesn't carry over, so... Use the big stuff, right? Use all... Pull out all the stops. It's the final boss. Don't need to be saving stuff. This is a... I guess this would be slight spoilers, but there there isn't going to be an additional twist after this. This is, like, pretty much the climax here. Blop. Oh no! Everyone's stats went down. I guess that means uh, Clover's going to have to spend a turn buffing everyone then, right? That's how that works. Alright, Flash Break, and uh, Twinkling Punch, and uh, Dirty Crazy. And you will do all up. Hopefully True Demon King doesn't decide to use Dystopia and double attack. That's like a really potent combo. There we go, bam bam! Ha <laughs> ha! That's a arrow. Well, still didn't uh, hurt everyone that bad. But that means Clover will have to continue doing healing duties. Hmm. I mean, this is kind of uh, the party makeup, right? You got one healer, two... Well, I guess it's like more like three DPS, because... Uh, you know, Clover's running support slash heal, and uh, there's really not a tank, right? At least not in the not in the MMO sense where... Oh, nuts, I forgot. I should have used... Not Giga Heal, I should have used Healing Rain. Or Life Up. Hopefully, True Demon King doesn't use, decide to use Dystopia. That's the thing about these battles. Once once someone eats it... Um, yeah, once someone eats it, then things start falling apart. And you gotta, you gotta sort of work your way towards uh, getting back to... You know, fighting form. Uh, let's see. What do, do we have um, a cure? Or do you have a cure? Dang it, no status cure. Okay. In that case, uh... Yeah, just continue flash breaking. I think, um... Chakra burst. Yeah, you heal conditions, magic. Alright, Chloe's gonna have to sw switch to healing duties for a moment. And... Clover... You just guard. 
won't trust you to do anything. Tighten that defense. Wow, still a very potent heal from Chloe's end. Not bad. Another dystopia. Is it just me or does the true Demon King use dystopia every other turn? Like probably... At the cost of making this battle last longer, I could just guard every other turn, but... Eh, you know what, it's not... It's not so damaging that I need to, you know, do that. There's no hard mode either. Alright. Giga healing ring, that's what I want. Alright, back on track. Don't need to swap duties. Hey, you know what? We're getting getting pretty close here. That back half of this boss fight. Yeah, nothing really changes. This is kind of like the entirety of the fight. It's not like um, you know, there's a phase two where True Demon King switches tactics and does like harder hitting attacks or something. Or, you know, introduces some special gimmick. It's just uh, knock down, drag out, final boss battle. Nothing more. Nothing less. Yeah, it's still appropriately climactic. Alright, you know what? Just healing rain. Get him back up, because... It's possible... Uh, bad stuff happens. Man, Yuzu's almost out of MP. Alright, but you know, you just... Just keep hitting them. Hit hit them for as long as you can. Let's see. He clearly got hit pretty hard, so we'll just do a regular life up. No, no, Clover's still sitting on like a ton of MP, so we really don't need to do this sort of conservation. Alright, I think we're down to 25%. Well, there's our dystopia. Alright. And keep it coming. Keep the assault going. Alright, Giga Healing Rain. Yep. We're good. We're good. Wop. Oh look, it's red. That means it's on the ropes. Do I have an MP? Oh no, Dystopia! <laughs> it's like two in a row. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> still not. Still doesn't do that much. Um. Yeah. No, you know what you're doing. Keep doing that. Pretty crazy. Uh, Giga healing rain. All right, we're good to go. Uses only got two turns of spellbound twinkling punch left. Okay, I'm pretty sure her punches will still hit fairly hard, and we're close to the end, so it's not gonna hurt us too much, right? Alright, flash break, twinkling punch, uh, dirty crazy, and, um... Yeah, you know what? I think you can spare a mermaid salvo. It's all ends either this round or next round. It just might be this one. Yeah, Clover's gonna... <laughs> Interesting enough, Clover will deal the final blow. Boom! Just like that. <laughs> oh, let's go with uh, Nightmare Slain. Yeah. Only because... I think you only see that like twice in Bloodborne, right? Otherwise it's just like prey hunted for every other boss, but final boss of the main game and the DLC both get Nightmare Slain. Gah! Oh, that was really weak. Gah! A little better. Gah! We're gonna get a gah, a gee, and a go. Okay, now we're just uh, automatically going through the dialogue. Gah! Gas! Big explosion. Just imagine, like, an outpouring of smoke just blasting out. Then... 
Oh, hey, look at this. Scenes around uh, the, the world. Hmm? What? But my liege, what are you doing here, sir? Can't you see? Research! This is no time to be asleep, soldier. There is much to be done now that I know Gastonbury is being destroyed. Maybe you should leave this to the scholars. Oh, soldier. That's the soldier speaking. Maybe you should leave this to the scholars. No. They needed as much help as they can get. In my old days, I used to do demon research. I have wisdom and experience, and I must use it. I was size. I sent brave young heroes on a dangerous mission to face the demon king. I cannot simply do nothing. Ah, this king, Stockwood. He's a good one. Royals who actually do something. Demon King was being rather vocal for that defeat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would probably be vocal too if I were being destroyed, right? <laughs> also, hello, non-chaotic entropy. Glad to see you. But oh, wow. I knew you were our king for a reason. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir. This might be presumptuous of me, but please, allow me to help you with your research. You? You're a soldier. You aren't cut out for research, lad. Off you go. Ah, yes, sir. I apologize for crossing the line, sir. Good evening, Azure. Good evening to you. Doof. <laughs> they even had the scurry off sound effect for him. <laughs> hmm. Magic. Should be used to improve the lives of the people. That's why I did my research. We may also need the power of magic to protect the lives of the people as well. I really don't want to use this. Don't make me use this super weapon. Er, this weapon. <laughs> I said super weapon. I mean, it might as well be, right? Mm. I am counting on you, young heroes. Hey, Benjamin, pass me the spanner, would you kindly? Oh, 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 hold up, hold up there. Hmm, hey, whoa. It's right there. Get it yourself. Well, it's closer to you, ain't it? Won't hurt for you to get it for me. I hope be quiet. Should I direct all of my frustration with moving this rubble to you? Oh, please, don't do that. I'll just get the spanner myself. Yes, please do. Why are we in charge of this task anyway? Couldn't tell you, though I reckon it has something to do with breaking the train. Oh, sure, but this is too much. If they spared someone to help, this would be done by now. Hey, you don't have to tell me. This ain't no picnic for me, neither. This is not our fault. This is the work of demons, and yet here we are. You say that again, and here I thought taking a train full of heroes would be fun. Yeah, looks like we ran out of luck, MacArthur. Met a real live hero, and then our luck goes straight down the gutter. Well, hey, don't you worry, Benjamin. That just means we got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> oh, I see this guy's been playing Yakuza like a dragon. <laughs> Probably is a super weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It most likely is. He always seemed to know what to say. Alright, let's go. Let's get to work so the train will be ready by the time they come back. Then they will see the pride of the Funky Fire Railroad. That's the plan. Alright, Benji, hand me that spanner. I already told you, it's right there. Get it yourself. Did they spend the entire game fixing that train? Now, signature, hero attack. If you get hurt, I'll heal you. There, healing magic. Yay, I feel better now. Thank you, healing magic. <laughs> Running in circles. Ah, takes me back. <laughs> hey, you kids. It's dangerous to be running around here. What are you going to do if you fall in? I'm not diving in to save you. Oh, Uncle Stan. Sorry, Uncle Stan. It's all right, kiddos. Just be careful. Hey, Uncle. Is it true that you had heroes on your ship? Ah, yeah, it's true. They look like real heroes to me. What? Cool! Uncle, we're playing Hero right now! Huh? What is that? Is it fun? It's really fun! Can you be the bad guy for us? Yeah, please Uncle Stan! No, no, sorry, I'm busy. So... You got five minutes! 
Roar! Wow, he's a super bad guy. Hee hee hee, again, again. I left my hometown of Tenmagahara on a quest to become a great musician. What do you think of my performance, master? Hmm. Aha! It looks as though my creative performance has left you totally speechless, rhythm master. Tying two shurikens together and playing them like castanets? Wasn't that brilliant? I don't get it. What? What do you mean you don't get it? No, it was very nice. It's just that I couldn't even hear the shuriken. It's dull. <laughs> oh, you didn't even hear it? I didn't notice. I've been practicing by myself. For three years, I've been struggling, and within five minutes of meeting you, I've failed! Alas! <laughs> wow. Ninja to the end. Oh, hey! Wait up! You know, you can make anything into an instrument. It's just that... Your sound is somewhat limited with shurikens and drums. Hmm. I wonder what Blondie is up to. I wasn't a bad performer. You should make a band. I hope he's doing alright. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go, Ninja Butler. Lightspeed Butler, I should say. Alright. I've still got it within I still got it in me, even after all these years. She mastered my secret technique at such a young age. I can't lose to my favorite student. Miss Yuzu, please be well. Please let me see your face again. Excuse me, Master Izana. Or is it Izana? We're crying again? Forgive me. I know. I shouldn't be like this. Oh, not at all, Master. We all understand that you are in a very difficult position. We've been working so long on our magic, but only Haru can use the power we created. And, be <laughs> and because of that, she is sentenced to such a cruel fate. To kill the Demon King, she must kill herself. Haru is just 17 years old. I can't imagine how difficult this is for her. Hmm, yeah. But, after the Demon King di appeared, we had no other choice. It was the nuclear option. But it doesn't make me feel any better about it. Was there another way? Could we have done better? Used our power somehow, so she did not have to face him? Master Izana. Why? Why can't I use the power of justice? If I could use it, I could have gone in her place. Times like these make me question my role as a messenger of God. I understand how you feel, but... Yes, yes. I'm just being selfish, aren't I? I'm asking for too much. Humans can only do so much. I will do the best I can do. It's good advice, right? In the end, you just do what you can. After that, you just have to let the chips fall where they may. Fortunately, they might not end up in a favorable outcome, but at least you can say you put in an effort, right? That is the part I play as the messenger of God. As just an NPC and not a playable character. Not a party member, I should say. Yes, and I'll support you as much as I can. Humans become stronger by supporting each other. Hopefully, Haru, someone will come to support you. Hopefully. The young man with the steel sword. Be by your side. This is kind of like stuff that's just happening in the meantime while the other folks are off fighting the Demon King. This is sort of like post the heroes beating them and there's like, alright, this is a little bit of what they're doing afterwards. Grandpa, today is a beautiful day. Oh? <laughs> Sparklies. Oh, hey, it's is it going to take off? Zoom! Oh, it's got the zoomies. Eh, <laughs> Grandpa. Probably off to help someone who's in trouble again. You've always been like that. Can't look away from such things. One of these days. Please, get some rest and try not to think about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Ghostman. 
Young man. I wonder if he is raising the unbreakable heart I gave him well. That's fine. That's just fine. It's because of you, hero, that Dawn has come to this world. You've achieved your purpose. Congratulations. Ooh. Is that it? He's been able- he's able to move on now because he did what he needed to do. And of course, the home. Gotta get the parental units input on this. Oh! What a beautiful day. It was cloudy just a minute ago. I'm gonna dry the laundry right now. Hey, dear! Yes, yes, I'll put them out. You only have to say yes once, honey. Don't get snippy with me. <laughs> oh my god, no, please don't do that tone of voice bullshit, man. Ah. Yes. Good. Now let's go take them out together. Hmm? Is this all the laundry? Yes, what do you mean? Oh, I guess it's just been a while for me. That's right. It's just this. Now that flash is gone. Yeah. That's right. I don't want to complain about having a smaller load of laundry, but it is kind of sad. Hmm. Maybe. I wonder if he's doing alright. I don't know. But I'm sure he's doing his best. He was raised to be kind and thoughtful, just like you. Oh no, I don't think so at all. I think he takes after his mother. Of course, he is sort of an airhead at times. Ah! Oh! You know, you had a good thing going, Flash's father, and then you went and fumbled at the one-yard line. Alright, let's see the aftermath. Or, how does that meme go? Hmm, interesting play. Let's see how this turns out. He got that from you, dear. Oh, the reversal! Oh, boom! Look at that. It's right back at you. Unfortunately. <laughs> Even Flash's father is like, Hmm, yeah, no, you're right. You got a point. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It worked out for you. He's a strong and thoughtful child who spaces out sometimes. But he's loved by everybody. <laughs> oh, burn, right? <laughs> and don't forget his doting parents. <laughs> yes, of course there's that. Oh, the other parentals. Regent's father. <laughs> God, please watch over my regent. I hope he's working hard, and not causing too much trouble. Oh, Mr. Night Fever. Came by today, too? You pray for your boy every day. God must be protecting him. Oh, sister. Thank you very much. The day he left, we had a stupid argument. that has been bothering me ever since. To think that it might be our last conversation. I will never live through the regret. Hmm, <laughs> Ah, I've heard that too many times, right? The last thing you ever say to another person. Leave it on a bad note, it's like... Mm. Right, and that's where it ends out. It's like... Ah. Yeah, sucks when it happens. Last conversation? Don't talk like that! I won't let you think that way. And, okay, yeah, that's a good point. You're going to get our boy back. You'll see. Or else the night fever lineage... Mmm... You were almost there, Regent's father. You were almost there. Dear, Regent said he doesn't want to be a wizard. Oh, that's right. Well, then... I guess... You would just have to become a lineage of bards, that's all. I don't care if it means our wizarding heritage is lost forever. I just want my boy to be safe. And you think maybe a theoretical longest five minute sequel will have like Regent's kid want to be a wizard in defiance of uh, their father. <laughs> and bring back his friends safely as well. Regent, you must do your best. After all, we can't have little, we can't have grandkids if all the other kids die out, right? That's probably what they're thinking. Let's pray too. Or, let us pray too, so that our cute little clover comes home safely. Yes, let's pray. Pre please bring back the young ones that departed from Souvenir. Let us offer our prayers. 
Chloe's assistant. Um, um, the technology for the speed of the train... Aha! Found it! This is it! Wait, this isn't it? We can't have the safety decrease every time the speed increases. That's not it either. This is so weird. The documents Miss Chloe made should be here. Where did they get off to? Hmm, I get that feeling. <laughs> it's not here either. Where is it? That one thing you looking for. Like, oh no, where did you put it? And you just like tear your entire place inside out trying to look for it. It's like either you get the happy ending after countless hours of fruitless searching you find it or just you just never find it until much much later when you've completely forgotten about it or you just never ever find it <laughs> oh found it <laughs> didn't think it'd fall under the bed if Miss Chloe was here, she would scold me real bad for sure. But since Miss Chloe isn't here, I have to step up, get it together. I'm the young man taking over the duties of the genius magical scholar, the pride of Stockwood. Leave it to me, Miss Chloe. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, that's totally the sound I make when I do my research. I know, whenever I open a book, I go, yeah! And then start studying. <laughs> oh, welcome! What's the matter? Run out of horse feed? <laughs> no, it's not that. I'm not looking for that today. Oh, then what are you looking for? Hmm, I wonder if you have it. Hey, hey now! This is Musa Shibu, the best item shop in the world! Aha, I'm just teasing you. Could you sell me... one flower? A flower? Piece of cake. We got you covered. Let me just reach into here, this great big bookshelf of everything. Although, flowers don't really suit you. Are you going to give it to a woman, hmm? Well, something like that. Oh, you old dog, you. Speed of sound, Shigure moves quick with the ladies too, huh? Hey, you be careful now. Don't use my old name like that. Aha, I'm just kidding, friend. Just getting you back. Aha, I know, I know. Now we're even. Here's your flower. I picked one for you. Thanks, that looks nice. Who are you going to give it to? You can tell me, at least. You're as blunt as ever. Have you forgotten? Today is... Today? Oh... That's right. You should visit, too. Everyone will be gathering soon. Wait! What? He's gonna get more flowers, right? Yeah. One flower isn't enough. This one's on me. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna get you a whole bouquet. Now that's what I call the world's best item shop. Uh, it's in the starter village. Yep, everyone's at the grave. Oh, Miss Evergreen, you're already here. Miss... Oh, Mrs. Nana Karubi. Hello. It's going on five years now. That sure was fast. Yes, time sure flies. So many things have happened. Buzz became a hero. True. He's always been a capable boy, but he's become fine... I think, they, I think they left out an A there. He's become a fine young man. I wonder what our girl's up to right now. We haven't seen her in a while. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> oh, are they going to be in uh, for a bad time? Just, to, just imagine, right, the seven of them return, everyone's cheering. Yeah, yeah, we did it! And go, wait, where's Haru? And suddenly, that's when the ending becomes bittersweet, right? I hope she's not getting sick. I wonder what if she's eating. Oh, they don't know. They don't know. I hope she's not causing any trouble and remembering her. Uh, oh, she did say I'm sorry, right? Also, uh, thank you. She said that too. Baru, she'll be fine. You know her. My Yuzu's quite the tomboy, always getting into fights. I'm sure she's causing trouble. 
But I don't remember Haru causing any trouble for anyone all her life. It's funny. I always tell Yuzu she should be more like your girl. <laughs> I said the opposite. I used to tell her to be energetic like Yuzu. Oh, really? I guess all mothers think alike. Yeah, they always think the grass is greener on the other side. Why can't you be like the other kids who are totally way better than you are, you piece of dirt? Uh. Her girls sure are different, but... I think they both turned out okay. Uh -huh. Yes, I think you're right. All the children who are raised here are good kids. It's an amazing thing how ready they were to fight for the people. I don't mind them fighting for what they think is right or making mistakes here and there. I just want them to be safe. That's all I can ask for. Buzz left all by himself, but I know that his mother is watching over him. We should pray for them. Yeah, do that. Would you? God, please answer our one wish. Please, bring home our children safely. We don't want to lose a single one. Ah, and he made Haru's mother say that. God damn it. Bring them back home. I think that covers all the major NPCs now, right? Yeah, the music stopped. I think we've, we're done with this. This light feels so warm. Where am I? What happened? Die. Die? Um. Shh. Flash. Flash. I can hear someone calling my name. Flash. Wake up. Wake up, Flash. Hey, whoa, it's you, Tophia. Or is it Tophia? And what? The goddess. Oh, good. I'm so glad to see you alive. Everyone is waiting for you to wake up. Oh, okay. He's, he's in his mindscape right now. Okay. Flash! Oh, wait. Hey, you! I can't believe you're alive! I thought you were dead! Got so worried, man. <laughs> I'm so glad I thought you were goners, you idiots. Hey, you were in that fight too, Clover. Clover was using healing magic on you for a while. So why weren't you, Chloe? Good job, Clover. Don't you have a healing technique too, Yuzu? Flash, if you're alive, then you can wake up. I'm so glad that you're okay. I'm relieved. Ow. Clover, can I get some of that healing magic, please? Kogure, that's just a little scratch. Just rub some medicine on it. Ow. Hey, I got it. I got it. Stop grabbing it. Flash, I saw your victory with my own two eyes. It was something only you could do. You're my hero, Flashback. Ooh. <laughs> when your rival concedes. You know, that's when you finally, uh, you know, kind of bury the hatchet there, right? Buzz. Oh, come on now. Be proud of yourself. You saved all of us. And I don't just mean everyone in this room. Everyone in the world. Seriously. Thank you. Eh, it's true. He was possessed. He kind of had the most to lose. And he already lost a lot. No. It's the other way around. It's because of you all that I got this far. I don't think uh, the cause and effect is quite... You, you're, I don't think you quite con understand the cause and effect here, Flash. Everyone, thank you. Everyone was smiling after I woke up. But their smile soon vanished. Yeah, right. You still have... Um, the reason was clear. Everyone was staring at something. You don't have to say something. Oh, what we're all staring at here. Haru's lifeless corpse. 
the one who gave them uh, the chance, right? The one shot to save the world. She kind of she kind of started the whole train, right? That Haru lying there, her eyes closed. No one said anything, but I knew what they were all thinking. Haru. Haru is... Haru is dead. But wait, who's Flash gonna slap? Brave young people, you all did so well. Flash, the sword you carry now... or The sword you now carry is the scepter I used when I created the world. Aren't scepters, like, shaped different? The fog has drained much of my strength, both the last of my power and the sword. I will heal this world. Now. Goddess Tophia closed her eyes and prayed. From the sword, a brilliant warm light erupted outward and flowed across the world. The world healing wave. And by the goddess's holy light, the fog which once plagued this world slowly disappeared. Now, there is one more thing. Because I have used all my power, I will most likely soon vanish myself. But before I do, one life can yet be saved. <sighs> you don't mean... Haru. She do mean... I will breathe life. Oh, wait. She gonna do CPR? Is that what's happening? And to you once more. Huh? Oh, man. We got the whole... We got whole CG and everything. Look at that. Uh, well, apparently Haru's outfit has a long skirt. I guess that makes sense, right? Considering it seems like her whole aesthetic is like Shrine Maiden. Well, I've seen, like, short skirt shrine maiden outfits. Eh, anyways. I digress. Ah. Haru. Oh, wait, he's crying. <laughs> Look at that. Haru? Haru! No. <laughs> Flash? Haru! I couldn't stop crying. And not just me. Everyone was sobbing tears of joy. <laughs> Haru! <laughs> Haru! Everyone... How? What happened? The goddess saved you. She said you were such a good girl. You get one more life. Huh? Hey, Regent! Stop making stuff up! I mean... He didn't. Although, he probably could have worded that better. What? I'm not making it up. That's what happened. Arr! I don't have time for your antics. Go be weird somewhere else. Uh, Haru, let's go home together. Let's go see your parents. Hey, wait, Yuzu. Here's a tissue. You're gonna cry all over her. Yanagi, give me some. Chloe, your glasses are soaked too. Yanagi, tissue. Hurry, hurry. All right, all right. Don't panic. I have plenty. Flash, you defeated the Demon King, huh? Yeah, with everyone's help. I see. So glad. Really. Everyone looks so happy. And Flash, being able to talk to you again. It's like a dream. Oh, she blushing. Yeah, like a dream. Except it's not a dream. And now, your quest is at an end. Because of you, all light has returned to the world and peace has come. Young heroes, thank you very much. This world no longer needs me. I believe that you are all capable of protecting the world now. From now on, I bid you live where you want. Live happily with those you love. Now, I pray that you will all be happy forever. Basically, they're all retiring, right? Because they, you know, they, they did their purpose, they did their job, and... Get to retire at the the ripe old age of mm, let me check my notes here. Seventeen. Hmm. Life expectancy in this world isn't great, is it? <laughs> Lady Goddess, she disappeared. 
That stuff she said. So kind of sounds like what you say at a wedding, right? Nothing wrong with that. It's not a bad thing. So how about you two tie the knot now? What? Who would want to marry this violent chick? Violent chick? Oh. Hmm. I mean, I didn't mention any names, but who exactly could you be thinking about? <laughs> right, you know, he's gonna press the issue, huh? Forget it! I never said anything! Hey! Wait, Regent! Details! Details, Regent! Hmm. I see. There you have it, Yuzu. What do you think? Hmm. What an idiot. I wouldn't worry about that. You have wide hips. Perfect for making a big family. Well, it is, it is post-final boss, I guess. You know, <laughs> talk about what next? Sure. What? Chloe, what the hell are you talking about? Whoa, Chloe, let's go. Hey, you guys, wait up. <sighs> Everyone has so much energy. And you don't. Me? Well, I guess so. But compared to this bunch... <laughs> yeah, true. Everyone is pretty happy. Right? Even after an intense battle, I think you have the right idea, Fuzz. I think I ran that together. Nah, I'm practically exhausted. Well, that was very forward of Chloe, right? <laughs> like, now go have kids. Oh, really? Then how about coming to the hot springs with me? Naraka, huh? They have good hot springs. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's stop by on the way back. Yeah, sure. I couldn't really relax last time I was there. Flash, everyone's heading home. We should go too. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's right. I remember. <laughs> one last one for the road, huh? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. You sure? Last thing the goddess said. Living happily in the place you love with the person you love. Those words made me remember one more thing. The words that I couldn't say. Flash? The words I wanted to say to her. Here we go. Here comes! Here comes! Are Yes? I... That night, under the Norbaji tree, there was something I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. Yes? <laughs> it's like she knows what's coming. Uh, or just anticipation. Or how's it go from how I met your mother? Anticipation! I don't think I got the delivery right. Anyways. Uh... When all this is over, the both of us should live together. <gasps> Flash, does that mean? Yeah. From now on, I'll be by your side and protect you. So... Oh, that makes me so happy. Flash, thank you. As she said that and laughed, a single tear fell down her cheek. Wow, that's a dramatic tear right there. But, you know I won't always need your protection. I'll support you too, Flash. I'll really do my best. So... Please, take care of me. And seemingly just as soon as it began, my long, long five minutes were up. This moment became a precious memory, one deeply engraved within my heart. You could say it's a, a core memory, or a canon event, right? <laughs> and with countless more memories, we'll continue living together. The moment I took Haru's hand and started walking, the goddess's voice echoed in my head. Aw, look at that! Now, I pray that you will all be happy forever.
There we go. A proper ending to the longest five minutes. Less anticlimactic and a lot more happy because everyone lived. We also just got ourselves, you know, a properly climactic conclusion and everything. But yeah, the credits, I think, are, like, the same. It's just, uh... Um... They have this background instead. Well, dang, I was kind of hoping... I was kind of wanting a clover end. Yeah! <laughs> kind of felt like the entire game was just leading up to that, right? Then again, it was only because, you know, they Flash forgot about Haru, which I guess was his actual love interest. But yeah, the game was kind of going hard in the other direction. It does make me wonder, who does Haru, I, who does Clover end up with then? Um, if we go with like the pairings wise, obviously it's Flash and Haru, it seems like uh, Regent and Yuzu are the other player. I guess they don't really hook up anyone else really. Yeah, the others are just kind of, kind of just friends, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. I think there was especially that one, one particular memory segment where you know, they split off into, like, groups of two, and I think, um, you know, you could do the Clover, you could do, you could go off with Clover and do a different thing, but, yeah. In the end, Clover was just a support character. <laughs> Makes me wonder if maybe someone's just, like, I wonder if there's, like, any fanfics of this work. I wonder if there's, like, someone's made a wrote a fanfic that that is like Flash X Clover or I don't know maybe a high school alternate universe because those seem to be in vogue maybe like some sort of retelling of the story where uh, Flash gets into like Konosuba-esque antics with all, with all the party members or something I don't know But yeah, I think I've already said everything I wanted to say about this game before, but yeah, I like the kind of anachronic uh, storytelling of this game, right? You start off the final battle, and you just uh, kind of rewind your brain and just run through everything. Although, the way, the, the way it's structured kind of allows for dramatic reveals of particular moments, so you're not seeing everything in chronological order, it's just like, right, um... You know, certain parts will pop up when it causes the most drama. Like, again, Haru and Fuzz's entire existence not being revealed until, like, minute four. That was, that was actually a pretty, pretty neat twist. Hmm. That being said, it does feel like <laughs> the first four minutes were kind of sort of filler. Sure, you did, that was like your, more your standard travel the world to kick butt, figure out what's going on, and then start saving the world. And then, you know, minute four, thing gets turned on its head, and you realize, oh, wow, this is like a lot more personal than you thought it was, right? You still got the world saving aspect, but wow, you still. Turns out the bad guy is actually your friend who got possessed by the sword, and now you gotta somehow uh, unpossess him, which your other friend can do, but she's gonna die if she does that, and then. Uh, stuff happens, and Goddess is like, Hey, I'm Deus Ex Machina. I'm gonna give everyone the happy ending, because, hey, we gotta have at least one of those, right? From what I've read, there's, like, another ending that you can achieve if you don't use uh, Fuzz's sword in the final boss battle, but... Hey, you could probably, like, catch that on, uh... Probably see a video of that elsewhere, because I think, um... We can, we can, uh... Call this a... Can call we can wrap this one up here, at least you know for, for the stream part of it. <laughs> uh, I forget if this is like the tune that played for uh, the other ending, or if this is um a, a, the the so slow version of the song, right? The slow uh, sort of relief version, I guess would be the best way to put it. There is a The Longest 5 Minutes fan fiction out there. Ha! You know what? That don't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, someone... This game definitely would put... Put it out there. Hey, look! There's the roll call, everyone. It's the, the cast and crew of... Uh, everyone in the village, anyway. There's a lot more characters than that, but this is all... The party members and uh, their... Uh, guardians. 
The end. And it is an ending. A proper ending. A happy ending. Oh yeah, there we go. That Now it's on the books. Got ourselves the full five minutes experience from beginning to end. So yeah, that will conclude this part of uh, the stream. Um, so I'm going to go switch over to the BRB screen and I'm going to get uh, Sunset Overdrive started up. So uh, I'll be right back.